Howdy, in this video what we're going to do is we're going to talk about geometric series. Now the general form for a geometric series is going to be the sum from 0 to infinity of a r to the n, where a is going to be your first term, and r is your ratio. Okay. Now, how are we going to find a and r? The way you're going to find a is you're going to take this bottom number and plug it into n. So all you need to do is plug the bottom number into n. Okay, So that's it, because I mean, when you plug that bottom number into n, that by definition is your first term. And r, you need to ask yourself a question. What r is going to be, you're going to ask yourself, what is raised to the n, okay? Not to the 2n, not to the 3n, what is raised to the n. Now, a geometric series will diverge, okay? It will diverge if the absolute value of that r is greater than or equal to 1. However, it'll converge if the absolute value of r is less than 1. And you know what's really cool about geometric series is that whenever it converges, you can actually calculate the infinite sum of that series. When the absolute value of r is less than 1, the entire sum of your series is given by a over 1 minus r. Okay? So let's run through an example so we can see how this works. So for number 1, uh, does the following converge or diverge? And if it converges, what is the sum of that series? Okay. Well, the first thing I want to do is find A. A is what I get. When I take this bottom number and plug it into N. So plugging 1 into N, I'm going to have a 3 to the 1 over 2 raised. When I plug a 1 into here, 2 plus 1 is going to be 3. So we're going to have 3 over 2 cubed, which is 8. So a is 3 eighths. Now let's talk about my r. My r is what's being raised to the n. And on top, I have a 3 being raised to the n. So on top, I'm going to put a 3. But on bottom, be careful. Let's take a look at this 2 to the 2n plus 1. Well, 2 to the 2n plus 1, I can re rewrite this as 2 to the 2n times 2. Right? And how do I know that? Answer this for me. What's x squared times x cubed equal to? It's x to the fifth, right? And how'd you do that? Well, we added the exponents. And the point that I want to make is whenever you have exponents that are being added, you can separate it into x squared times x cubed. Likewise over here. If you have 2 to the 2n plus 1, that's 2 to the 2n times 2 to the, and if it makes you feel better, 2 to the 1. Okay. So that's cool, but I'm, like I said, on bottom, I just care about what's being raised to the n. But I have a 2n. So I can write this as 4 to the n times 2. And how the heck did I do that? Well, answer this for me. What's x squared cubed equal to? Well, x squared cubed is x to the 6, right? And how did we do that? Well, it's just x to the 2 times 3. And the point that I want to make is that whenever your exponents are being multiplied, it's like your exponent being raised to an exponent. And so this 2 to the 2n, I, can, I technically rewrote this as 2 squared to the n, hence your 4 to the n. And so on bottom, what I have being raised to an n is a 4. Okay, On bottom, what I have being raised to the n is a 4. So all you need to do is look. For your r, it's nothing more or less than looking as to see which numbers are being raised to the n on top, which numbers are being raised to the n on bottom. Anyways, I got my a, cool, 3 eighths. I got my r, wonderful, 3 fourths. Now, does it converge or diverge? Well, it's definitely going to converge. It's definitely going to converge because the absolute value of this r, this 3 fourths, is less than 1. You know what's really cool about this stuff? Man, you can find the infinite sum of this series. The infinite sum of this series is just going to be a over 1 minus r. Okay, so first off, because the absolute value of r is less than 1, we know it will converge. And since it converges, we can find the sum. And your sum is that a, which is 3 eighths, 
divided by 1 minus r, my r being 3 fourths, what this is equal to, this is 3 eighths divided by 1 fourth, and whenever you have a fraction divided by a fraction, it's the same thing as if you take the top fraction, multiplied by the bottom fraction flipped, and 3 eighths times 4 over 1, here that will cancel to make that a uh, 2, Get three as. And so not only does this geometric series converge, we know what this sum goes to. And this sum is three halves. So I think that stuff's really cool. That's just me. I love, love, love this chapter. You'll be <laughs> this stuff's pretty exciting. But um, that's geometric series. So go ahead, join me in the next video. In the next video, we'll talk about telescoping series.